Hey, welcome back to World Entertainment. And Jason Momoa has all but confirmed that he will be remaining with DC. But, probably not as Aquaman. Yes, that's true. The rumours of him possibly being Lobo look to be pretty much confirmed. So, he's just had a meeting with uh, James Gunn and Peter Saffron. And by the sounds of things, David Zaslav was there. But he's put out a video of him walking out of the meeting at the Warner Brothers offices. Where he says, this time, X amount of years ago, I can't remember how many years ago he said. He walked out screaming with joy because he was cast as Aquaman. And he proceeds to scream again because he's just being confirmed to have a new role in the DCU. And of course, all the speculation is leading to Lobo. Does it make sense? How does it work? How would it work? We're not quite sure at the moment. He did state that he f will forever be Aquaman. Now, people are jumping on board saying, so wait, is he going to be still playing Aquaman and Lobo? Probably not. The way I take it, when he says, I'll always be Aquaman, is basically like he was the first ever and only ever Aquaman on the big screen. So, therefore, he will forever be cemented in that role as Aquaman. I think that's what he means. Not that he's going to continue to be Aquaman. Because, and this is why I find it interesting that Zaslav was possibly at this meeting with him. Aquaman 2 looks like it's going to be a huge, huge failure. Compared to the first one, which of course was a billion dollar movie. It made over a billion dollars. Somehow. <laughs> but the second one you've still got the Amber Heard situation every test screening so far has confirmed she is still in there and that Mira is vital to the story why you wouldn't change that I don't know and let's not forget it was Peter Saffron who confirmed that she was going to be still in that movie he backed her he's the one who came out and said we don't bow to Fran pressure. But. They have her problem. Then there's also the problem. That every test screening. Of this is being a disaster. So much so. That the test screenings. For Aquaman 2. What's it called? The Lost Kingdom or the Fallen Kingdom? I think it's Lost Kingdom. The test scores were worse. Worse. Than Batgirl. So keep that in mind. And apparently it's in that much of a bad shape that Zaslav pulled the plug and given them any more money and just told them, work at what you got and just try and make that thing somewhat watchable. That he's furious with how bad this movie is as well. So, what does that mean for the future of Aquaman? Well, it looks like it would probably be Aquaman 2 will come out. No doubt it'll probably bomb at the box office. Not to mention the removal of Henry Cavill and stuff makes it pretty much obsolete because it means everyone's just looking at all this slate now coming out going it's all meaningless because they're just going to reboot everything anyway. So they're probably going to recast and redo Aquaman. And probably not right away. He'll probably be a character they'll leave for further down the road. But it looks like Momoa is going to continue in the DCU and um, all roads are pointing to Lobo I suppose he's a good choice for it the problem of course you will have is how is he going to play it you know is he going to play it the way he's been playing most roles which is basically he's just chasing the Moa <laughs> you know because if he plays Lobo the way he's played Aquaman it'll just be like oh it's just Aquaman it's the same problem that Chris Pratt had with Star-Lord when he went from Star-Lord to Jurassic World 
everybody just compared his performance with Star Lord and just went, oh, it's just Star Lord in with dinosaurs. So he does have that bit of rumble. I suppose it'll all depend on what the tone is for the movie. The direction they take with me. Where is he going to fit in? How is he going to fit in? You know, is he going to be... Like, is he going to be a part of... The already established... Universe? Like, is he going to be showing up with... The likes of... Harley Quinn and... You know, Peacemaker and stuff? Because if that's the case, again... It still makes no sense then as to... Why you would have removed Henry Cavill. But I guess... Time will tell... It does seem to be the kind of first official announcement coming out of uh, Warner Brothers and DC at the moment under the new regime uh, that at least the first casting announcement even though they haven't told us what the character is it's the first casting announcement that Momoa will be this new character. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Supposedly we're supposed to get some information this month but that doesn't look like it's happening because this month is almost over <laughs> next this day next week is the last day of this month so we'll have to wait and see anyway with that i'll leave it there for this one cheers and i'll catch you in the next one